All right, so today we're working on a 2007 Dodge Ram 1500 with the Hemi, and my belt is squealing. Well, belt, singular, not plural. My belt is squealing. So what causes the belt to squeal? Number one, they wear out. A lot of times you get some cracks in the ribs, they'll stretch out and all that good stuff, and we'll show some pictures of that. Number two, the tensioners do go bad. So considering this truck has 177,000 miles, we're gonna change the belt and we're gonna change the tensioner. And to change the tensioner, it's actually really easy. So this is the 5.7 Hemi, and it's right over here if you take a look at that, okay? All you're gonna need is a 3.8 ratchet, preferably long, but you can get away with the normal size one. And you're gonna release the tension. So let's go ahead and let's take the tension out. See if we can do this one-handed. See how good we can do this, okay? Let's see if we can get you in here. This is where the fun part begins. All right, so that's in there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn, <clears throat> what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this uh, towards the driver's side. And as you can see, we slid the belt off. So let's take the belt off and let's take a look at the belt. Okay, so we're at our bench over here, and if we take a look at this belt, um, I don't know if the camera catches it, but it's starting to have some types of cracks on it. The grooves are a little wider than a newer belt, and I'll show that in the vehicle. But, I mean, it's the original Mopar belt. I don't know if this was changed. It says 177,000 miles, and I don't know if this was the same one or the one that's changed, but yeah, pretty much for the part. If you see, like, and I wish I could get this on there. But if you really see cracks and separation, that's usually a sign the belt is bad. This is not doing it all the time, more so when it's cold. And when it warms up, it somewhat goes away, but it's still annoying. So definitely the belt is bad. And probably if we just changed the belt, we'd be good to go. But considering the mileage, why not change the tensioner? Let's go ahead and put a new tensioner pulley, good preventative maintenance. And we should be good. So let's toss that. And let's go get our new stuff. Okay, so now we got to remove our tensioner. And let's see. So it's going to be a 15 millimeter. I like to use these, these flex heads, ratcheting ones. These are from Tecton, not a sponsor. Awesome, awesome, awesome wrenches. They long, they reach, and they pretty much get the job done. So that comes out right through there. Pull this out. And there we go. We have our tensioner out and removed. And for the most part, it is actually the same one that was replaced. So this tensioner was replaced at one time. So yeah, it couldn't hurt. So this is at least not the original one. The original one's a little beefier and fancier, but this is actually the same Deco one. And actually, I wonder if this was actually under warranty or something like that, but yeah, it's the same Deco one. And it should work fine. Just preventative maintenance. I'm sure this is pretty good, but considering the mileage and I've just had the truck, I like to do this just for peace of mind. So uh, let's see, just check the bearings. Bearings still feel real good. So I don't think I'm gonna change this. I think I'm actually gonna take this back and just use this one. So, all right, let's go ahead. Let's install the belt, install the tensioner. I'll be right back. Okay, so I just wanted to show this and this is why I hate these freaking part places, Advance, AutoZone. I'm big on getting the parts from the dealership, but I, and I've always had these issues, and it's not Advance or AutoZone or Riley's by any mean. It's just these manufacturers that the way they make parts. So I'm changing this tensioner, and the tensioner, this is the one that came off my truck. And it looks brand new. I guess the guy who had it before me had it changed not too long ago. Feels fine. Feels good. This is the new one that I got from Advance Auto for like $50. Ridiculous. And this is what I find. Let's see if I can get this on the camera. Let's set up this camera here. So now, this is the new one, and look. I don't know if it comes out. The bearing is loose. And now, this thing is spinning like nice and free. But yeah, the bearing is loose, and this is brand spanking new. Well, allegedly. I think that comes on the camera. Crazy, fifty dollars, 
and the bearings bad it's moving this is my old one same company just you know and tight bearing feels tight everything feels tight everything feels good new one that I just bought and bearings bad it's not supposed to do that you're not supposed to have no move or play whatsoever in this bearing and I know the original ones don't have it and this one which was on the truck has none of that that's just my finger crazy so what do you take away from this check your parts check your parts make sure number one that they match up make sure number two that they're the correct ones <laughs> make sure number three that they're not in worse shape than the one that you're changing so I'm taking this one back get my money back on it and this one I'm gonna just put back in the truck because I mean the bearing still feels brand new everything feels nice on it so yeah just something to think about and show and just frustrating that's why I'm a big big advocate of just getting the parts from the dealership I just have you pay more but I find that you get better quality of it so yeah so let's go ahead let's pop this tensioner back in this truck put the belt on and finish this up all right so let's install the tensioner tension is going to go in where is that this way with the two little dowels facing towards the truck make sure they both sit in if not you'll snap them off and this thing will dance around I've done it before found out the hard way bolt goes right in here let's take a look down there let's see if we can do this one-handed all right just to show as you can see it's in right in here and if you look it's going to be flush and when you tighten that up they'll be flush right over there and that's how you know it's proper and it won't move up and down back and forth so let me tighten that up we'll put the belt on and we'll keep going all right so our tensioner is installed that was pretty easy in fact i actually had to use one of these i forget that i have it and these are one of those uh serpentine belt tools whatever you call them and I think this was a craftsman one yeah craftsman one on this it just gives you that better leverage to slide the belt on a lot easier so works pretty good tensioner bolt gets torqued to 45 foot pounds went ahead and torqued it just give you peace of mind so you don't over tighten it and you know it's supposed to be properly done and yeah everything looks good um like i said earlier that tensioner thing kind of blows my mind that a brand new part well allegedly a brand new part is loose and broken so we're gonna take that back get my money back i'm gonna use this one on it because the bearing feels really good and everything so i'm pretty sure it was just the belt was worn out and a new belt will take care of my squealing issue so uh, as far as the belt diagram i'll actually go ahead and i'll put a picture somewhere around here on the screen so you can see with the routing diagram and i'll definitely put a link below for it but it's pretty easy and straightforward you can do this by yourself don't need any assistance i did it that way so yeah just want to show this video on changing the belt even a tensioner if you choose to do so like i said squealy belt most times the belt is just worn out they just they wear out they stretch they dry rot they crack it happens i don't recommend ever using belt dressing belt dressing dries up the belt in my opinion um, it, the grooves just get coated with that crap on there and then you got a mess if your belt starts squealing just change it i know it costs more money and the dressing gets rid of it real quick just change it you can prevent more problems later so it's my recommendation the tensioners if they're original i do change them i mean if they're 177,000 miles but like i said apparently this one got changed so it made no sense to go ahead and change it when i look changed and the other one was kind of jacked up so hope this helps thanks for watching and we'll see what we come up with next